Welcome back, everybody. It is Friday, 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 and that means we are talking about movies with film critic Scott Birmingham. Chat about what's going on, what's hot, and what is not, especially at the box office. That's true. And let's take a look at that box office. This past week at number three, Tomorrowland is 14.3.3 million dollars. Pitch Perfect two bringing in 14.8. Million dollars, and at number one, San Andreas opening up at fifty-four million dollars. Let's see what all the rumblings about with San Andreas. I'm gonna get you out. Thing to San Francisco, you can run, but there is nowhere to hide. The earthquake will find you. Yes, the visuals are great in this movie, no doubt. But just remember, how long does an earthquake last? Not 90 minutes. Maybe we can stretch it out to about half an hour. But then we can't just have gloom and doom. We need some relationships to toss in the story. So if and when they die, we cheer or we cry. It's also important to make one of those relationships a parent and their child. Because as much as we want to see a San Francisco skyscraper fall realistically on a busy street does not mean we want people hurt. No, hurt the buildings, not the animals or the people. If you can stomach some of the sappy schmaltz, and like it or not, we need a bit of it, you should be okay. I actually like the way Paul Giamatti plays the professor in this film, but folks, it's pronounced Nevada, not Nevada. It's worth four out of four stars. Four out of four? After all that, you still gave it four stars? I, I, it, there's a lot of great visuals, so a lot, that alone is gonna be drawing people there to it. So if you can deal with all the little side stuff, it's okay. Uh, okay, so this is that was just a bit nitpicky. The rest of it, you liked it. Overall. And don't say Nevada. Exactly. Oh, What's the deal? What you said, everybody was <laughs> groaning in the movie theater when that. <laughs> People were groaning every time. It's, it's said about a handful, of, a handful of times there. So every time you hear it, it's like, oh, can I not get this right? I know. Come on, research, research. All right. <sighs> also talking about what's coming up for a DVD releases Netflix this weekend. Yes, on the DVD, Netflix, DirecTV, and anything small screen related, we now have Jupiter Ascending with. Adam Tatum and Myla Kunis, Focus with Will Smith and Margot Robbie, and McFarland USA with Kevin Costner. Out of the batch, the best to check out is McFarland USA. And what are we talking about next week? What are you looking at? Next week, we're going to check out a movie not based on my life, Entourage. Oh, I can't wait for that one. All right. It's like it being some kind of fun. I know, you sound does. like you have an entourage. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I want one. <laughs> Thank you, Scott. I appreciate it. Sure. Stay with us, everybody. We'll be right back. Yeah.